Hi everyone, my name is Ariel and today I'm going to be doing a review on Scentbox. So I was not really skeptical, but I was having a hard time deciding whether I wanted to try Scentbird or Scentbox. Um, I ultimately went with Scentbox because of all the perks to it. So I'll show you um, everything that's in the contents and then kind of explain why I chose it. So it comes in this nice gold little envelope package and the contents are this little box and inside the box you get a free exchange if you do not like the fragrance that you pick out you get a 15% off coupon I don't know if that's with your first box because I've only done it this for this is my first month um, for a full bottle yeah any full bottle and then they also in the little envelope they give you the fragrance of the month and then it just it gives you a description of what's the essence in the fragrance. So that is that. So time for good, the good part. They send you and I think I think it's called an automizer, automizer I guess I don't know. Uh, each month and it just does that. You pull it out and that's how much about you how much you get. So I you I I do not wear makeup and perfume to work because I work, work in healthcare and I have an N95 with a surgical mask on top and sometimes fragrances you know a lot of people I work with an elderly population so uh, with that being said I don't want them to be like oh my gosh she smells too overbearing or whatnot so I generally do not wear a lot of perfume I, I stick with it on my days off on the weekends and this was like the perfect thing the perfect opportunity for me because you get four sprays a day up to a month so that's a lot for me especially I know fragrances go bad over time but for me I think it's worth it um, I ended up getting the premium box which is originally like 1998 I think and or 1995 and then the just regular one is 1495 but there was a lot of premium fragrances that I really wanted to try now to test this out because like I said, I wasn't really skeptical, but I kind of, but I kind of was. Uh, I I chose a fragrance that I really wanted, but uh, and I don't have I well until now I have it now. Um, I I really wanted it, so but I don't have a big bottle. So I went with one that I knew what it smelled like because I had smelled it before. I've sprayed it on me multiple times. I've gotten samples from Sephora. So this is Dior Jador. It's the one that has uh, Shirley, Charlize Theron in the commercial, so I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of blurry, but this is true. It's a true fragrance. This smells exactly like the fragrance that you get at Sephora or Macy's, Dillard's, all those. So it's legit. Uh, next month, I'm getting Hypnotic Poison by Dior, which is also a premium scent. So this was a premium scent. I'm basically... The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to pick out fragrances that I want to try and then I'm going to get fragrances that I know I like but I don't have for this exchange if I need to use it if I don't like the fragrance. So this one for example it's a very light fresh when I spray it I think of somebody that's not necessarily sophisticated but well put together just has like a clean white um, button up loose flowy shirt on with a pair of jeans that's going out to lunch and it's a very light it's a florally scent you can google this you know this is um you can google it and basically find out all the notes in it but it's very it smells clean fresh i would say this is a spring time scent or it could be you know a um signature scent if you would want it want it to be um so anyway that's why i got this i will show you i've had this bottle of um giorgio armani aqua de Gioria, i don't really know how to say it for like 10 years legit and it's coming to the point where i need to use it because it's going to go bad so like i said i don't wear perfume a lot so this is perfect for me and you get a lot of perks with it. I think it's pretty reasonable if you're like me and you need you don't wear fragrance all the time, but you want to try some new stuff. And um, for $19.99, this is I I'll I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get my big bottle that I've had. I got it 
like I paid $130 for it or $150 for it and I got like two of these bottles, a rollerball and a lotion and it's been 10 years and I still have one of the bottles and the rollerball left over. And then I'll, I'll show you a comparison to these two Marc Jacob bottles that I bought, which is the same fluid ounce as this. So one second. Okay, I'm back. I wasn't prepared for this. So this is part of the gift set that I bought and look how much I still have and it's been 10 years and it's starting to like turn a greenish yellow tint so I know it's getting ready to go bad. And then this equivalent right here is two of these. This is Marc Jacob Love and this is uh, Daisy Love and this is Marc Jacob Daisy. And I bought these I think last summer, the summer before last because I was pregnant with my daughter. and. Like, look how much I've used of these. So they're not sprayers, but um, it's the same equivalence. And I think I paid like $23 for this. This was um, $19.95 a subscription. So for me, it's totally worth it. Um, you get, like I said, free exchange exchanges for, you know, each month. Uh, you can just cancel anytime. You can pause anytime. They have a lot of premium scents. They have a lot of, you know, uh, designer scents. I'm not sure if they have niche scents or not. I'm not really, I'm, I'm learning a lot more about fragrances, but I'm not 100% sure if they have a lot of niche ones. And then they do have some celebrity scents as well. So I would definitely go and check these out, especially if you're just somebody who wants a variety of fragrances, but you don't want to buy a full bottle because you're like me and you'll probably end up getting rid of it or uh, you know, it going bad before you use it all. So that is it. I'll leave my link down in the description. I, I believe you get the second month free if you use my referral code. And that is about it. This one smells like super good. If you want to try something, I'm no like fragrance guru of any sort, but you just, you know, spray. One thing that I would make sure, make sure you're spraying it in the right direction because I feel like it has like a wide plume, I guess you would call it, but there has been occasions where I went to spray it and it was like kind of tilted the wrong way. Uh, but yeah, you get a, a new one of these and if you have any questions or comments, just link it down or comment below. I'll leave my links. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, thumbs it up and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. That is it. Thank you for watching and have a great night.